Welcome to week one of our 16 part series where we are giving away one of these Speedflex college helmets. Watch as we put this custom concept together and find out how you can win. Welcome back, I'm Jay. We got Steve behind the camera. This is the Heads Up Show. Thank you so much for joining. As promised, we have our first installment of a 16 part series where we are giving away a football helmet every single episode. These are gonna be all the Riddell College NCAA Speed Flex helmets. We're gonna put our own twist on every single one of them. We have thought long and hard about what we're gonna do with this one, starting with Ohio State Buckeyes, Steve. That's right, man, every week. And these are Speedflex Authentics, and we're not leaving them alone. We're doing all sorts of stuff. They are legit. If you're not familiar with this Riddell Speedflex helmet, you know, there's gonna be tons of pictures in, in this video to check this thing out. Um, these things are not cheap, Steve. No, they're not. By the time we're done with this one in particular, it's gonna be about a thousand dollar MSRP. Yes, yes, which is no better time than right now to talk about the sponsors of this video. We've got two. We've got Shock Visors has sponsor, helped sponsor this video by donating a Shock Visor. We're using a Shock 1.0 Visor, Steve, not a Shock 0G. And we'll get into why. Yes, and we were. This is also sponsored by Zooty face mask. We got this really cool killer bee face mask. We're obviously going to be putting a red face mask on this Buckeyes helmet. I think it's going to look great with the red stripes and all that kind of stuff. And uh, Zooty face masks are people who get them love them. On yeah, their, on their helmets, um, and, and they look. You know, they just look cool. They, They're awesome. It's an investment cast. There's no welds. We've done videos on Zooty before. There'll be more coming to the point of this show. And for all of these giveaways that we're doing is we want to give back. And we also are asking for your help. We want to continue growing our channel. So when Jay gets into it, I'm going to explain what you have to do to win one of these helmets. We're going to be putting a new chin strap on, new face mask on. We've got 3D bumpers going on this thing and Boss Tech flags. You know, a lot of the usual stuff that we use to upgrade how much just because we think that that's the best stuff and we want to be able to really showcase those things uh, if you're in the market for a speed flex helmet or a helmet whether you're looking for something to wear on the field or something to put on the shelf then if you've got the money the speed flex is the way to go cover up the flag that it comes with the helmet here. Not that there's anything wrong with that flag, but the embossed tech flag is just better in every way possible. It just pops. Our Buckeyes 3D bumper. So let's get into how you win. Yeah, how, how do you win this, Steve? Why don't so, you tell the folks? First of all, if you're new to this channel and you found it because of this giveaway or for any other reason, thanks for watching. We like football helmets and we do all sorts of crazy stuff with them. And if you want to win, there's, a, I don't know, five or six different ways that you can enter and you're encouraged to do them all. Go to greengridiron.com and you'll see a nice big banner. Click on that banner and then you can get multiple points by following us on YouTube, by following us on Twitter or Pinterest or Facebook. Each week it'll be a little bit different. The more that you do, the greater your chances are of winning. You have to be subscribed to our YouTube channel and that's it. You don't have to buy anything. You can. It's uh, This is a real contest. We do give these 100% away for free, including shipping and everything. Um, and I so, gotta say, Steve, this is costing us a pretty penny. Well, even if you're in, I don't know, Australia, if you win this helmet, we're gonna ship it to you at no charge. You yep. don't see that happen with contests too much. And you can enter a lot of different ways. I mean, what do you know, Steve, how many different ways you can enter? Each week, there'll be a minimum of four ways to enter. So we, like I said, I'm encouraging people, do them all. The only thing we're asking in return is, Help us out and tell a friend. Help yes. us grow. That help us keep growing. Spread the word. Yeah, we love that we're able to do this. Yeah, and like you said, Jay, it's a big investment on our part. But 
you know, people need something to look forward to now kind of more than ever. And hopefully this helps brighten some people's and, days. And I'll say, we're not the only place selling these helmets, uh, but we're the only place where you can buy the helmet and then you can pick out which face mask you want. If you want to put a red helmet, a red face mask on it, that's fine. You can pick out the visor that goes with it. You can pick out the visor clips, the different chin strap, whatever you want. And we will put that all together for you. So when you get it, it shows up, it's ready right out of the box. And because we work with a lot of the college and NFL teams, we know exactly what they get and what they wear so we can help you out with that. Yeah, so this is something new, Steve. This is the 3D bumper Big Ten. Uh, these are coming soon, officially licensed. They will. We will be having them for sale on our website. You can just put it in your cart and pick one up. And these are gonna be the exact ones that are worn by the teams. That is the cherry on top. For people who know and that they do this themselves and they have these collectibles, we're gonna go through a lot of these. <laughs> I know it. And we are well aware that the Buckeyes have never worn such a combination. The whole point of us doing this is we want to play around. So if we want to throw a big, great looking, crazy red face mask on there, we're going to do it. <laughs> yeah, we love doing concept pieces, trying new things. And a lot of times we don't know what it's going to look like until after it's completed. Uh, it's just an idea. And you know, we chose the Shock 1.0 visor here in a color that doesn't really go with this color scheme of this helmet. And we did that on purpose to show or to kind of answer a question and show people uh, that the color of the colors of these visors sometimes will actually look better when it has nothing to do with the color scheme of the helmet. Because it's a very common someone will, you know, someone will say, hey, my colors are you know, blue and yellow, what visor is gonna work best? Should I get the blue one or the yellow one? I was like, well, I don't know, try the green one. Yeah, don't matter. It just doesn't matter. It's its own thing. I don't know, be unique. And this is a perfect example of that. And speaking of the 1.0, the reason we're using this instead of the Zero G, which is designed specifically for the Speed Flex is because the Zero G is designed for Speed Flex helmets by Riddell. It, Right? I mean, it didn't really work so well in this case. This one here is made by Zudi and it's made a little bit different. And Zudi actually made it with visors in mind. So he made it a little bit different or they made it a little bit different. So it fits all visors or most visors better. And because of that, the Zero G doesn't fit as well. Yep. And Jay's wrestling around with these quick release. These can be tough to install. So don't feel bad if you're having a hard time doing this yourself at home, people. Their quick release. <laughs> right. So we're gonna put a black unbranded shut chin strap into this brand new cam lock system. And it works nice. And why not? I'm gonna curl them up here. Yeah. kind of push it through. But what you don't hear is you don't hear the clicks. So the Riddell chin straps have little notches in them. It goes click, 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 click it as you put it in. And then there's a little uh, piece of metal in here that grabs and it falls into that those little notches and it keeps it nice and nice and tight. With other chin straps like this one, that little piece of metal still will grab onto the chin strap. Some will go in easier than others as far as the straps go. Um, but it's just as difficult to get out. So in theory, yeah, you can use anything, but we haven't really gotten enough feedback from people on the field yet that have been doing that to know, is does it work as well or not? So if you are out there, you're using a chin strap from a different brand or even a Riddell, old Riddell chin strap that doesn't have those notches, let us know. How do you like it? Does it work as well? Personally, I think you're fine. I don't think you'll have an issue, but only time will tell. So we loosen these screws beforehand. I'm just gonna tighten them up. Steve, we are officially done with this guy. That looks nuts. Here we go. Put it gonna, on, it's man. Gonna sit around a little while. Let's, <laughs> let's try this out. I haven't put a helmet on in a while, you know? Oh yeah, here we go. How's this? 
Jay, I'm telling you, man, that is awesome. Do we yes. Get it? So this is our first helmet. Do we get it? Do we do a good one right out of the gate? I think so. Let us know. Leave your comments. Who do you want to see next? You got 16 teams coming. Yeah, so thank you very much for watching this video. If you like helmets, face masks, if you're into the equipment that they're wearing on the field of your favorite team, then definitely like, subscribe, click the notification bell for more videos like this. We got a whole bunch more coming. Uh, really looking forward to it. Thank you for watching so much. Until next time, cheers. Cheers.